First on CBS, Planned Parenthood is announcing the opening of a new mega facility close to states where abortion access is restricted. The new clinic was built in secret in Illinois near the Missouri border. Missouri has some of the strictest abortion laws in the country. CBS News reporter Kate Smith visited the facility as it was being built. She's been reporting on abortion issues since last year. Kate, welcome to the Thank table. You. And start us off, what's the significance, rather, of this new clinic? I keep hearing it's ginormous and big. Exactly. So in recent months, states across the South and Midwest, they've been implementing stricter and stricter anti-abortion laws. But this new clinic is in Illinois, where the state is moving in the opposite direction. So this is the site of our brand new building here in Illinois. Um, we first visited the new clinic in August. The sensitive project was being built in secret under the code name Alaska. Dr. Colleen McNicholas showed us around. Um, we know that our colleagues at other Planned Parenthoods and independent abortion clinics across the country have had difficulty opening new clinics. Things as simple as getting the phone company to come in and put phone and data lines, things like the cabinet makers not showing up to deliver once they knew that that facility was going to be an abortion facility. The 18,000 square foot building cost nearly $7 million to build. Planned Parenthood estimates the new office can handle up to 11,000 patients a year. The clinic is only miles from the Missouri border. It's positioned to accommodate patients from nearby states with strict abortion laws. In the last two years, the number of women crossing the Illinois border for abortions has more than doubled. On a personal level, I just have it in my heart to serve women. Mary Kate Knorr is executive director of Illinois Right to Life. The purpose of a law is to set a moral standard for society. Knorr says she's disgusted Illinois has become what she calls the abortion capital of the Midwest. It's a travesty that this is happening in our state. It's a travesty that women come here to get an abortion. McNicholas says Planned Parenthood is committed to giving their patients the access they need. Why did you choose that location? The truth is that our patients want easier access. And for some, the 13-mile drive from our St. Louis clinic to this Illinois clinic is an opportunity for them to get that care with less judgment, with less restriction, um, and with far fewer hoops to jump through. CBS News has learned that the sole Planned Parenthood left in Missouri is planning to double its clinic escorts starting today. Now, this is in case of preparation and backlash to that new Illinois facility. So it was a secret. It's not a secret anymore. Bravo on the reporting. I I'm curious, is Planned Parenthood concerned about security? They are concerned about security. And it's, I should mention, not just security here, but security all over the nation at these providers. We've seen a record high number in violent acts against abortion providers. So it's a very real threat for these people. Are they getting a lot of business? They are getting a lot of business. Um, so as we said, you know, the number of women crossing the border into Illinois to seek an abortion, that's more than doubled. And their existing facilities, they just can't handle it. We were at one of those. It was in a little strip mall. You know, you had to back up in order for someone to come by. And we're going to see the capacity more than double with this new facility. And even with that, though, we should point out that nationally abortion is at an all-time low. The that's rates, exactly right. Rates are down. Yes. Please, thank you very much. We appreciate it.